Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, we're going to be continuing our series on this uh, DR All Terrain Mower AT1. So, this one's from 1998. And uh, so, if you need parts or sizes or whatever you need, uh, go to the DR website and uh, they'll they'll fix you up. They, they've got all the information and access to all the part numbers and everything you might need. So give them a call too if you're having trouble. They'll be more than happy to help you out. I'm going to replace the uh, the drive chain today. The drive chain has been uh, has stretched quite a bit and I can't get any more tension out of the, um, the tensioner to, to get the chain tight and it's kind of popping. It's, it's popped off on me a couple times so Let's get uh, let's get in there and get the old one off and get you a, a new one made and put in place. All right, so what we got here is I found it again. There it is, right here. So here's the master link. It's got it's a little bit extra kind of looking stuff on there. See how it's got a clip and that kind of weird stuff. So what we're gonna do is pop that off of there. I'm going to use the needle nose. We're just going to slide it, slide it back one, like that, and just pops right off. And then this is like a washer almost, and, uh, and then here's the the actual master link. So we can go ahead and take this chain off. So while I was inspecting everything after I pulled the chain off, I found this this idler was in really bad shape that tooth is completely gone uh, this you know these are kind of worn out so what I did is I contacted DR and I ordered up a, a brand new one and they had it no problem shipped it right to the door and so that's pretty nice so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and replace replace this idler sprocket while I'm in here doing the chain replacement So what I'm gonna do Here's the, here's the idler uh, right here, and then over here there's a bolt right in there. It looks like it's a half an inch. I'm going to need to take that out so I can get this assembly out so I can replace. Oh, well, I might be able to just get in there and now that I look at it like this, huh? I think I'll just try to get this bolt out first and then just slide this, this idler just straight down. Let me find out what size nut that is and what size bolt head that is. This, uh, the nut up here on top is a 9 16 and I have a feeling the, the nut on the, or the other side of the nut is 9 16 also. I'm just going to hold a back up on there, kind of something to keep it from spinning all over the place. That'll be enough. It's not on there very tight, it's just kind of spinning around a little bit. So it feels like this was a, a nylon lock nut, and it was. So here comes the bolt. Oh, that's easy to get to, okay. All right, so there's the, there's the idler, and it looks like the way it was installed was with that extra uh, washer type deal on top. So here's our new idler. We're just going to slide that right in place and try to fish this this bolt up through there and line everything up just like that. That went in there just fine. Just going to tighten everything down now. Put my backup back on here. There is enough room to get a ratchet wrench in it, so that's nice. I have found everything on these, or this one at least, is has been pretty easy to get to, like it was made to be worked on. So that's pretty nice. So there's a new idler. Went ahead and loosened up the tensioner right here all the way, so this is at its stop all the way forward. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get our new chain cut now and get ready to put it on there. 
All right, so here's our old chain. Here's our new chain. Um, this is size 41, I believe. Yep, 41. And you might want to check with DR to make sure you get the right size chain. But I'm just going to pull it out here and match it up to what I've got lengthwise. So, let's see. Make sure we're all lined up link for link. So I need to go ahead and break the chain right here on this one. That's where it lined up. So we've got our chain breaker here. We're going to snap it around, snap it around our chain and start driving it down. And what we're looking at is this little pin right here. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Yep. So there's a little pin inside of there that's pressing up against one of these pins on that link that I need to cut off. So we just tighten it down and it pushes it right out. Yep, and this is the length we need right here. So we'll just keep, keep pushing it until it stops. That's fine. We're gonna back it off. We want to come over to to this pin right here, snap it onto that one, the part that we don't need, and drive that one out too. And that's going to break break our chain just like that. So there's a, a little link that we don't need, uh, and here's this link that we don't need. That's can't be used anymore. So they also recommended that I would need a half link. And this is a size 41 half link. So we'll need that and a size 41 quick link. All right, so there's there's our quick link like we had before. This is just brand new stuff, so I don't have to worry about it maybe breaking in the future, or it might break in the future, I don't know. But we got plenty of them if they do, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and assemble this like a quick link. Kinda should be, so I can kinda show you what it's gonna be. So this is a half link. You see how that goes on there, and that goes in there, and then this is gonna clip on here. Well, that's how we're gonna put the chain back together is with this little this little pin right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And this, this guy gets pulled out of there. That pin, you know, try not to lose that like I'm getting ready to do in the dirt. And then uh, you've got this little pin here. So what this does is it goes on there. This pin goes in. So it's got a flat side on that side and a round side to keep, I guess, the pin from rolling in there. So what we'll do is put the round side in first, which is the side facing the camera. The thing flipped around there. And then it'll lock into the other side. This stuff's like holding on to a slippery eel. So hopefully you can see that. Yep, that's going in there like that. And then we're going to line up on this side. There's a flat to it. So that's it in there. And then we'll get this itty bitty little cotter pin. It's so darling. Slide it in there like that. And then we're just going to fold it over. All right. Just like that. That's in there. All right. So let's go fish this chain around everything on the mower and lock it in place. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is fish this chain around everything. First I'm going to put it on this big sprocket, roll that around, and that'll give me the end of the chain right there. 
then it goes underneath of our little idler we just put on there goes in underneath of that goes up here and uh, I'll show you here it goes around the drive sprocket from the transmission all right like that right and then comes on down back down to where we can get to it so let's fish it around there yep just like that okay yeah, that's it all right so now see how our two chains match up perfectly that's right where I drive where our master link needs to go on there so we'll put it on from the bottom here so you can see how it clips on so I can get to it I guess in the future so, just like that all right see how that goes in there just like that so I've got the the chain fished around in there and my master link in place so then I'm gonna put this washer back on there or I'll call it a washer you call it whatever you want I don't know what the real name is for it um, but it connects the two together and then here's our our little clip we're gonna get our pliers again needle nose and we're gonna push against it right there and it clips right in hopefully you saw that yep all right well I've got the chain on here now and I, I can go ahead and tension it up a little bit and that's a, uh, a half inch again on the tensioner we'll just put a little tension on it so the spring has some pressure on it so it can maintain you know maintain the right tension on our our drive chain let's ride it around here a little bit make sure everything's okay I've got a couple burrs on my sprocket here you might hear it kind of popping a little bit um, from where the old chain had fallen off or you know had some problems and caused some issues but all in all everything is on there and feels like it's riding pretty good all right let's get this thing flipped over and uh, back up right on its on all fours and uh, let's go ahead and start it up and see if we can get it to go and um, test it out Now you can see the cable here. I went ahead and greased it up with a uh, the Lucas Red and Tacky uh, spray spray grease. It's a um, comes in a little aerosol bottle. You can see how I've got everything on there. So uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and take it for a little test drive to test out this new chain. Alright, well as you can see, it looks like the new chain is working perfectly. And uh, you can see already, this thing is a beast. So hopefully we'll have some more video of uh, the DR mower in action. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.